If you're like me and most other people, and you like to have a lot of tabs open in your browser, and you're afraid of losing all those tabs, I want to show you a great way to manage those tabs in Microsoft Edge, as well as get a nice thumbnail preview so you can tell exactly which tab you need to open. Chris Love, owner of Love to Dev here, and in this video, I'm going to show you two features to help you manage tabs in Microsoft Edge. Now, these are new features that have shipped with the latest version of Windows. They, if you've been on the Insider Ring like me, you've had access to these two features since, uh, the, I guess, the beginning of 2017 or maybe the end of 2016. It all kind of blurs together at me at this at this point, uh, so I'm not totally sure. But um, now, right now, it looks like I've got, I don't know, maybe 10 tabs open. It's not unusual for me, especially during the week, um, to be doing research and, and stuff on on coding techniques or testing different websites out to have sometimes as many as 40 tabs open in a browser. Of course, that can be unwieldy to manage because the tabs become really tiny and stuff like that. Now, the other the other scenario that you got to worry about is you need to you want to try to trim those up, but you don't necessarily want to lose all of those, and you don't want to go through and add those to your favorites. You don't want to maybe add them to the reading list, that sort of thing. All right, so what are some ways to help manage that? Well, first off, when you've got a lot of tabs open and they're really narrow, basically just showing you the fav icon up there, and you want to kind of see what's going on, there's a down arrow now to the right of your plus. The plus will create a new tab, but the down arrow is just to the right of that. It'll be on the right side of all of your tabs. And as you can see, the little tooltip is telling us show tab previews. And all you got to do is just touch that down arrow, and you're going to see some thumbnails for each one of the tabs. And in this case, I can just scroll to the left and right to kind of trip through them all. And you can see, you can open that, that thing up right there. So that's really good. So you can kind of get a thumbnail preview. Of course, we've had this feature for a little while. I can't remember what it actually shipped, but as you roll over a tab, you're going to get the thumbnail preview too. That little drop down lets you see every single one of them at the same time. So you can maybe make that decision to navigate a little quicker. Now, the next feature I'm going to show you is super helpful. I've used this a little more often than I probably should. And as you can see, I've rolled over this this button here on the top left corner. Now, it's not, uh, these two tabs, are, these two buttons are, are related. First off is this one, set these tabs aside. And what that's going to do is it's going to now move all of those tabs over uh, into a list of saved tabs. Now, what I'm going to do is these are a, a list of tabs that I have set aside. And, of course, it's not going to open for me now that I'm trying to show it to you. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. And these are the ones that I've set aside. Well, toggled out a little late. I think we got a little latency here because of the Camtasia piece that sometimes get in the way. Now, I've got a lot of these set aside. That way I can go back and reload stuff rather quickly. Now, when you do load items out of these lists, it will take it off the uh, the list here. So, example for this one, this is uh, about uh, service worker caching. This is an article I read and reference a lot. As you can see, it's opening up right here. I can actually close that tab. I don't need that. There we go. And caching best practices, max age, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now, if we go back over here, it took it out of that list. Just want to let you know that that's the, the case. Wait for it to open up. There we go. Now, you can restore all the tabs at one shot. So if I want to restore the ones that I just showed you, it's going to restore all of them. And it's going to, I believe, remove those or that entire list from the stored tabs. And we'll just wait for that to pop up too. As you can see, it sort of will try to load every single one of those up for us. Uh, come on. Normally it does not take this. Usually it just pops right out on me. 
Of course, I've got the early buggy beta version of the operating system, and it just got the update. I had a couple of little issues since I updated this morning with things opening. Well, anyway, I'll just let that go. But these are two great features if you're looking at using Microsoft Edge that I think will help you manage big sets of tabs. It's uh, certainly made my life a lot easier, so to speak, so that I can bring up uh, resources that I don't necessarily want to lose. But I realize I've got, you know, 40 or 50 tabs open, and maybe there's, I just want to shove them off the side, and then I can go back and pull up the ones I need as needed. Hopefully this will help you out. And if you've got any questions about uh, usability of Microsoft Edge or Chrome or Firefox, um, please post those in the comments below. And if you like this video, please hit the appropriate like buttons and, of course, subscribe to our channel or Facebook page.